Good morning, my little rays of sunshine. I just crawled out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> I just was so tired. I'm so tired. But uh, that's bipolar for you. When depression kicks your butt, kicks your butt. And a lot of you, I'll probably say, Sunshine, you're not depressed. You're so happy and cheerful. What y'all don't know, I'm not even going to talk about it. Cause, you know, a lot of depressed people will put on their happy face and pretend to be the happiest people in the world. Think about the people that have committed suicide. That out, straight out of the blue knocks your brain for a loop. Robin Williams? He held some dark secrets in his soul. And he was, it was hard. And um, you would have never thought, you would have never thought that man would do that. So, I'm pretty good at hiding it. I'm pretty good. Some of y'all that know me, know me, can pick it up. But, um, you know, it's what it is. And y'all are probably also asking, well, Sasha, why are you depressed? Do you have nothing to be depressed about? It's just part of the bipolar thing. And depression doesn't have to be because of something. Does that make sense? You know, depression just happens. For me, it does. That's that's for me personally. Some people, something sets it off or something. But for me, it's just... And a lot of it's I'm in so much pain. I am in so much pain. And there's nothing they can really do for me. And um, I'm not a pain popping pill kind of girl. So, you know, because they don't work for me. They just don't work. So, you know, I'm okay though. I, I'm fine. Um, I just, I just may look a little disheveled. I haven't brushed my hair in three days. We're not going to talk about that. Anyway, let's go on to something a little bit better and not so woe is me, right? Right. Grab your coffee. Grab your jammies. Le well, for those that are still in their jammies, stay put. Those that never get out of their jammies, here's to you. That's what I do. I got a little happiness, though. A little, little tug in my heart. The new Hirschner's catalog came out. The front page got me. I really want to do this one. But it's already quilted. Tell me that's not cute. Tell me that is not cute. Being pre-quilted, I would have to take off the binding and redo it and everything. I, I'm not about that life so as, as much as it's cute I will just pass and just continue along my way but it's so dang cute but at the very last page they have one that I really want like really really want and they're on sale for $30 so I'm like oh and we still got a ways to go till the first. But um but it's just on fabric and um uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, it's just on the fabric, it's not pre quilted. Look at this. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? It says, always be humble and kind. Is that not me? Oh my gosh. Let me put on my, my fingers here. and see when the sale ends. Because if it's not... Expires. I don't know. 
I don't know where it shows that, um, oh, prices effective through 615. Oh, there's my answer. Hopefully, I can get it. Because that is so dang cute. They also have another one that I kind of like. Um, as y'all know, my mom has had, I don't know how to show you, right there. My mom's survived a breast cancer, and I kind of would like to make this for her, and it's on fabric. Look at this one. Why does my camera not show this? I don't know, but, um, I don't know, but, um. You can save $25, buy both for $54.98. Mm. That's a lot of money, but I really would like to do that. That's one thing that sucks about living paycheck to pay, well, check to check. It sucks, but, you know, what are you supposed to do? It's okay, you know, it's okay. So, I'm not, I'm not freaking out, but, yeah, I think I'm going to try to do that on the first. Get both of those. That would be cool. The plan of action today is to really put in some hours on this blanket. I would like to get it done by the end of the day, but I just don't think it'll happen. So, um, you know, because I want to be able to drop them off on Sunday, tomorrow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up there, drop off these blankets, and then come back home. Um, I just need some time. I need some downtime to figure out what I need to do. Which church do I stay? Do I leave? You know, there's a lot of, a lot of indecisiveness, I guess you would call it. Um, I don't know. And, and, okay, let me say this. As a pastor, as a preacher, he's good. He's really good. As for his personal life, that reflects that in his, in his, I don't know how to describe this, guys. But, he has, you know, his personal business is a hot dumpster fire. And, um, you know, you see both of those when he's at church. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I can't get the words out today. I apologize. I cannot. I'm struggling today. I'm really struggling. Um, but, you know what I'm saying? He's a good preacher. He is a really good preacher. He knows his stuff and a lot of me wants to stay but part of me wants to go check out another church and I don't see anything wrong with going to check out another church I don't see anything wrong in that but you can't decide on a church when you only go once so I've got to figure this out and so as I crochet his blanket I need to pray on it and, and Ask God directions. Ask God how, where I need to go with this. Um, Cause you know I don't know. But anyway, guys, I, I'm sorry. This video is kind of all over the place. My brain, when it gets like this, I have a very hard time connecting words. Sometimes, does that make sense? I don't think that makes sense. My brain, I I know what I want to say. But it doesn't connect to my mouth. So. And I had this problem. When I was on a lot of Seroquel. I couldn't figure out my thoughts. And they just came out a rumbled mess. So if you have figured out. What I'm trying to tell you. Thank you for understanding. If y'all are still going there. Out there going. Oh, what the heck is she talking about. I sorry. <laughs> I sorry. <laughs> I love you guys. Let's pray real quick. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. 
we just ask for healing and wrap your arms around my family and my YouTube family, my Facebook family, that you will just watch over them and heal their hearts, Lord. And Lord, thank you so much for loving us. You're an awesome, amazing God that we're not worthy, but you prove every day that you are we are worthy for you, Lord. I humbly bow at your feet and thank you for everything in my life. Forgive us where we fail you. In your name we pray. Amen. Y'all take care.